to this video, welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. Hello, so I wanted to do a video today basically explaining a little bit about my style journey because one of the number one questions that I get asked is how I kind of regained my style after having kids. So if you are new here, my name is Beth, I'm a 36 year old mum of three and I also have a 12 year old stepson. My children are so close in age, 11 months between my two youngest and then there is two and a half years between my eldest and my middle child. Basically spent five years in maternity clothes, feeding babies in 100% like, like new mum kind of mode. So when I get sent messages like I've just had a baby and I'm finding it really hard to kind of get my own style back, hard to know what to wear, I feel completely out of touch with trends and fashion, I 100% understand because I felt that way. I became pregnant in 2008 and I had my youngest in 2012. So for pretty much four years I was in that kind of maternity clothes, living in leggings, feeling pretty crappy myself. I put on five stone. I mean he was nine and a half pounds. He was a big, big baby. I get it. Like I 100% get it. And when I get messages like, oh, you're so stylish for a mom, you inspire me to kind of put nice outfits together and kind of make an effort in myself. I just thought that is something I 100% want to jump on and share with as many women as I possibly can. For me, it's such a huge part of me and what I love. You know, it's my job, it's my passion and in the hope that it helps other women out there to kind of just get regain that confidence to just realize that because you are now a mom it doesn't mean that you suddenly have to not take any pride in yourself not look after yourself and as if you're not allowed to be stylish or fashionable or make an effort anymore so I wanted to kind of put this video together and share with you how I regain my style hopefully you will find it helpful I remember after I had my daughter, it was 2009, it was like that stage where like Little Mix were huge and I remember like the first night out and things like that going actually out and dressing up and seeing loads of girls in these like, it was when the high-waisted like disco pant leggings trend was massive. I remember seeing all these girls thinking, oh my goodness, like what has happened to fashion because I've missed this whole section of like trend and obviously I just had a baby I literally did not want to be wearing a high-waisted satin shiny legging whoa tried to kind of dress fashionable I remember wearing a lot of kind of long cardigans to kind of hide lumps and bumps I've had a pair of jeans or leggings on trying to hide like muffin tops and hips and bums and just I never remember living in a lot of like oversized things to kind of hide things and then I fell pregnant with my second son in 2010 and like I said I put on five stone with Seth he was a very very big baby and I was very very big when I was pregnant with him I remember feeling like an absolute whale I very quickly as a bit of a surprise fell pregnant with my youngest son Albie so there was no gap in between having Seth and becoming pregnant with Albie. So there was no kind of like, what do I wear in between that? So once I actually had Alba, I had Alba by C-section and three children under four. I just had zero time. I had a big double buggy that I had two babies in and a toddler. I did a ton of walking. I did obviously just didn't stop from the minute I got up to the minute I went to bed. Luckily for me, the weight just dropped up really quite easily. So I kind of was happy about that, but I still kind of lost my weight with fashion and it took a little while to kind of get that back. And I think one thing that really, really helped, it was when Instagram had started to be quite big and I followed people on Instagram. I used to look on, I don't know if anyone remembers it, Lookbook was basically like a website that you could look on and people used to post their outfits. It was like before Instagram became like a big thing for fashion bloggers. And I just used to like scroll on there and try and get ideas and just kind of get used to looking at fashion again because I think when you are pregnant, you just don't. You're so obsessed in your baby bubble that like fashion doesn't really become a thing. And you're more interested in buying your baby all these cute outfits. So I kind of just took a little bit of time just getting my head back around like fashion and what people were wearing 
in and just kind of getting inspired really so slowly returned and I would see things and think you know I'll pinch that little idea and pinch this idea and very slowly I'd say get my got my confidence back when it came to fashion I think the main sense for me is a sense of confidence in yourself and I genuinely live by the rule happy mum happy babies and I think that continues right into children and teenagers. I genuinely think if your children see you happy and confident and secure in your own skin, that is one of the best lessons that you can teach your children. I just think it's so, so important. If you feel good about what you wear, for me personally, it makes me feel confident, it makes me feel secure in myself, it makes me feel attractive to my husband, and genuinely just makes me feel that little bit happier. I know as, and I know as a mum, you can kind of put yourself at the very bottom of the list and put yourself last when it comes to taking care of yourself, whether it's putting some makeup on, having time to blow dry your hair, or put a little bit of fake tan on, or the, all those little things that actually make you feel good. Sometimes Sometimes it's more important to do that and take that little bit of time for you. From that you then radiate confidence and happiness and that rubs off on your children. I think for me as well it is such an important thing to teach my children that it's actually okay to be 100% true to yourself. So sometimes I feel a little bit, I mean where I live it's not it's not like in a city where you see people, you know, dressed really well all the time or you know following trends and you're kind of inspired by what people see all the time. So for me sometimes I can kind of if I'm wearing something that's a bit out there or a little bit too trendy I can kind of get the feeling that I'm not like the other mums or I don't know sometimes it can just feel a little bit like people look at you funny if you're dressed in something that's very on trend. I think it's a good thing to show your children that it's okay to be a little bit different and it's okay to wear whatever you want and not be concerned about about what other people think and for me it's, it's something that took me a long long time to get to that point and a lot of the messages I get is like I want to wear this but I don't have the confidence to do it I just wish I could kind of go through my phone and go through Instagram and give these women that send me these messages that boost of confidence because if you want to do something, you should do it. You should not care what people think. You shouldn't care what people at work think about you or you shouldn't care about what in-laws or mums at the school gate are gonna think about what you wear. You should 100% just be true to yourself and wear what you want to wear and what makes you feel good inside. I just think that's such an important thing. When I turned 30, I was so depressed. I spent most of my 30th birthday being a real depressed mess and Rick having to try and cheer me up and I just now I'm 36 and I look back on those last six years and I absolutely loved this period of my life and I think your 30s is your time when you should really embrace you and have that confidence to do all those things you want to do you know yourself better you know your sense of style you know what suits you, you know what makes you feel good, and you should just follow that. Don't just think because you're in your 30s or 40s that suddenly you should just start wearing boring clothes or shopping at certain shops and not be able to shop certain places. I've got my like mum head on, I, I kind of think to myself, I'm 36, I shouldn't really be shopping on Pretty Little Thing. You know, there is no rules when it comes to fashion. You can wear whatever you want to wear and you can make it age appropriate. And I actually have a video coming this week which is a huge Pretty Little Thing haul and I'm gonna show you how that is so true because no matter where you shop, you can find things that are appropriate for you and your style. And don't ever think that you are just too old to shop somewhere because it's just 100% not true. I think one of the most important things to do and what I do quite often is I go through my wardrobe and I pick things out and I put them on. 
and I literally feel to myself, does this make me feel good? Do I enjoy wearing this? Does this make me feel confident? And if it doesn't, just get rid of it. And the things that do make you feel good and that you do enjoy wearing, just become more focused when you are shopping, that you are leaning more towards those things that you want to wear and actually make you feel really confident. So for example, for things like this, like an oversized knitted sweater, but something that has like a bit of individuality, like it's so my style and I think over the last few years especially I've just learned to follow my style more than just following trends and I think that is so important to find your own sense of style so find out what feels good to you find out what outfits you like to wear and you feel confident with and just start bringing more of that into your wardrobe and try different things and added accessories and show your individuality you can just consistently wear and feel good in and then as your confidence grows you can start adding more different things in some different textures different materials different accessories and start being that little bit more brave I've also learned that it's just so important to dress for your body shape. Accentuate those best features that you know you have, make you feel better about the parts of your body that you maybe don't love so much. So this is something I've learned over the years. I mean, before I used to try and kind of wear things that I thought were really like fashionable and on trend, but just completely didn't suit my body shape. And now I've learned a lot more the, the parts of my body that I don't like, like my arms and these crazy little like fat bits that we have here above our boobs, well not everybody but I do, um, are the bits that I like to cover up and I just don't like and they make me feel not great in an outfit. Whereas my legs, I don't mind my legs too much at all, you know like here, kind of like collarbones and upper part of chest, I quite like to kind of show that but I don't like to show cleavage very much or boobs. It's just something that I don't really do. So I will wear a lot of skirts and shorts, leggings and skinny jeans in winter. And then quite often I will wear kind of baggier things on top. It's a kind of thing that you need to learn about yourself and it is different for absolutely everybody. Um, but just taking the time to work that out and really dressing for that. So important to feeling confident in an outfit. So one thing that I do a lot is just get yourself up 30 minutes before you know your children or your baby is going to be awake. And I know that sounds like the last thing you want to do, especially if your little ones are small and they don't sleep through the night and you get a lot of less sleep as it is. But try and go to bed early so that you can then get up early and actually just have half an hour for you. Whether that is doing some skincare that's gonna make you feel good about yourself, whether that's just sitting and having 10 minutes, having a shower in peace, popping a bit of makeup on and choosing an outfit. These little things make all the difference. And when you're constantly catching up with yourself and chasing your tail in the morning and doing everything for everybody else, the last thing that you have time for is to put a nice outfit on, you know, put some skincare on, put a little bit of makeup on if you want to, or blow dry your hair. And actually they're the little things that for you as a person, you may feel you need. Not everybody does, but you might feel that is something that would really make you feel good in yourself and feel a little bit more like you again and not just a mum. So it might be hard at first and you might find it a struggle, but I promise you, if you try and go to bed earlier the night before, you should hopefully, after a few days, start to feel the benefits of that and feel, feel like you can get yourself up earlier and just have that little me time before your mum roll starts. Some mornings I get up at 5.30 just so I can have some peace and quiet on my own. I will generally do my skincare, shower, and try and put a bit of makeup on and get myself dressed before the kids are up and before my mum duties start like breakfast and pack lunches and school runs and all that kind of stuff. So, so I really hope this video has inspired you to just take a little bit of time for you. I'm still learning in my fashion journey and I am still making huge fashion mistakes. I mean, I look back at things from even a few years ago and think, oh my God, what was I thinking? Um, we're all learning, but as my husband says, the most fashionable women are not teenagers, they are not even 20 year olds, they are your 40, 50, mature women who have had 
experience and years and years of understanding style and fashion. So don't ever feel like because you are now a mom or late 20s or 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, don't ever feel like you can't take pride in your own appearance and what you should wear and what makes you feel good we shouldn't feel old, we should feel stylish and experienced and, and we know ourselves so well to then be able to dress well. So let me know in the comments if this has inspired you to try and make some little changes when it comes to your own sense of style and fashion and as always my DMs on Instagram are always open, please feel free to pop me a message. I love chatting all things fashion with you girls. I will see you on Wednesday for a huge pretty little thing haul where I'll be showing you that even if you are older than 21 you can still shop on pretty little thing and find some really really gorgeous pieces. So I will see you all on Wednesday at 4pm. Love you girls. Bye.